Hello everyone, this is Angus. Today's review is of a gun known not only for its excellent use in CQB, but also for its exceptional use in the field. Perhaps the best of its kind on the market, this is the video review of the ICS SIG 551. Hello everyone, Angus here. In my hands is, in my opinion, the best SIG on the market. This is the ICS SIG 551 SWAT Airsoft AEG. Available at airsoftstation.com for $270. They also have the SIG 552 available there for $275. If you want $5 off, simply use our coupon code DEATHCORE. Now this is an extremely fine SIG by ICS, which is one of the top gun manufacturers right now, and it performs extremely well and is constructed extremely well. ICS has presented us an excellent SIG here. Thank you very much, Airsoft Station, for supplying it to us. And let's get into the review of the ICS SIG 551. First off, let's take a look inside the box and see what is included when you purchase this gun from AirsoftStation.com for $270. As you can see, the box of your gun comes in is very nice, proudly announcing the name ICS SIG, and it shows the picture of the SIG 551 and the SIG 552, which is a shorter variant. Now, box is very flashy, standard with ICS, and let's open it up. When you open up your ICS SIG 551 box, this is what you should see. Inside the box there is your ICS SIG 551 manual. It's pretty simple. What manual is it nowadays? However, it does contain some good information on how to put the battery into your gun. A bright orange muzzle cap. A 400 round high capacity SIG magazine constructed of a very high quality plastic and your ICS SIG 551 SWAT Airsoft AEG itself. First impressions when you take it out of the box, you know it's going to be good. Considering it's ICS, the externals are very, very nice. Internals for ICS, decent, average, pretty good. They are a high, higher quality gun manufacturer, and it's definitely demonstrated in the SIG 551 right here when you take it out of the box. Now, let's get into a bit more detail about it. The first thing I'll be going over in this review is how to put the battery into your ICS SIG 551. Keep in mind that the 9.6 1400 milliamp stick type battery is not included when you purchase this gun from airsoftstation.com. However, you should buy this battery for the best performance. The first step to putting your battery into the ICS SIG is to press this pin through the other side of the gun. Once the pin is visible on the other side of the gun, yank it out. Towards the end, it may get a bit difficult, but eventually it will come out. Once the pin is removed, this, the bottom part should come back a bit and the top should pop off, revealing your mini type connector and the rest of your wires. Once the top is off, get ready to connect your mini type connectors. Once this is done, begin to tuck the connectors and wires from the battery down into the bottom area, which is hollow. At this, be, be careful that your gun does not fall during this process due to the fact that you will have to hold it upward and it may fall over. Then, simply place your battery up and reinsert the top half. This may take a few minutes but eventually you will get your top half back on and your battery will be inside your gun. However, you are not done yet. You must reinsert the pin so that the bottom half of your handguard does not fall off during combat. Once it is in, simply press it through all the way. Now, let's head into the field and take a look at some of the features of the ICS SIG 551. However, I will not be donning my normal BDU jacket and vest because this review will be taking place in the closest thing we have to a CQB facility. The ICS SIG 551's fire selector switch is located on both sides of the gun. The selector switch is ambidextrous and the settings are essentially the same as on any other airsoft AEG. The selector switch is this small dial and when it is facing towards the front of the gun, the gun is on safety and it cannot be fired, which is required off the field. However, flip it up slightly. When you hear that first click, the gun is on semi-automatic. 
At this, it's shooting around 300 feet per second, and it's single shot, so you do have a slightly better chance because it's a bit more accurate. Then, any other clips past that is fully automatic, at which this gun is shooting at around 900 rounds per minute, so you're getting a decent RPM on full. So again, all the way back is full, first click is semi, and facing towards the front of the gun is safe. The ICS SIG 551 uses a standard 400 round SIG magazine. As you can see, it has these small hooks on the sides, which allows you to actually hook other magazines to it so that you can have a long row of magazines below your gun so you don't have to waste time pulling them out of your vest. You can just simply click and switch. So this is very convenient if you want to buy spares. I believe they're available on airsoftstation.com and you can make your whole little row down here, never reach into your vest again. 400 rounds of holds loaded through the top, wound, feed through the chamber, it's a high cap. To insert it, simply press the front end first, spin the wheel, and you're ready to go. One of the main characteristics of the ICS SIG 551 is its folding stock, which is characteristic of basically all SIGs. Now to fold the stock, you simply press this button, causing the stock to fold. You must then push the stock over and give it a firm smack so that it stays in place. This is going to be troublesome at first, but eventually you will get the hang of it. The folded stock makes cutting and shooting around corners a lot easier and makes it an even better gun for CQB situations. The rails on the sides and bottom of the handguard add to the potential for this gun to be an excellent CQB weapon. The side rails are great for mounting lasers or flashlights, which excellent for CQB. And the bottom may be able to hold a grenade launcher, but if you're using this for CQB, really no point in a grenade launcher. But the side rail is really a bonus considering you can mount all types of tactical accessories on it. To increase the potential for an accurate shot, you may want to use the SIG 551's iron sights, which I will zoom in on and show you now. The rear sight is a rotary sight and can be adjusted. Simply turn it to adjust the sight. The hole in the rear sight allows it to line up with the more simplistic front sight. The front sight on the SIG 551 is a standard iron sight, however it is adjustable. In order to adjust your 551's front sight, you can adjust between the larger sight post or the smaller sight post. The smaller one better for field, the bigger one better for CQB. So in order to adjust this simply, if you want the smaller variant, simply flip this down and the smaller sight post is available. If you want the bigger one, simply flip it back up. Very simplistic. The rear sight does line up with the front sight to give you a more accurate shot. Keep in mind the gun unfortunately doesn't feature a top rail, so you cannot add a red dot. The gun's charging handle is functional and when pulled back, it reveals the hop-up unit. After taking a look at some of its features, I can tell you that ICS's SIG 551 is one hell of a CQB rifle. This thing is absolutely made for CQB, thanks to its excellent folding stock, these great tactical rails on the front handguard, the excellent adjustable sights, front and rear sight adjustable, the 400 round mag, which is 200, 250 rounds higher than the standard MP5 mags, you're going to have more ammunition than the competition. And another bonus is this thing is shooting around 900 rounds per minute and 300 feet per second, guaranteeing you're going to be allowed into basically any CQB field. Now that we've taken a look at some of these excellent features, let's head back to the workshop for the final conclusion of the ICS SIG 551. It is now time for the final conclusion of the ICS SIG 551 SWAT Airsoft AEG available at airsoftstation.com for $270, battery not included. What we have seen here today is an example of an excellent CQB weapon. People were complaining about how it shot 300 feet per second. It's not meant for field, it's meant for CQB. That's the point of this excellent folding stock, which is constructed excellently, just like the rest of the gun. I really like the ambidextrous fire selector switch, the 400 round magazine, and the ability that the magazine can attach to others to create a long line over here, eliminating the use of your vest. It's ICS, so the internals are decent, they're average. Externals, very, very good for an ICS gun. And the only things I really don't like is just this big orange tip on the front. That's about it. Again, it's a gun you can customize all you want. These two tactical rails on the front here, mount a flashlight, a laser, 
You really can't go wrong with this SIG, and if you don't like this SIG, you can always get the ICS SIG 552, which is a shorter version of it, and it's available at airsoftstation.com for $275. The ability of the gun to shoot is excellent, considering the accuracy in the shooting test was great, the rounds permitted is excellent, considering you're using this in CQB, and it has a large advantage over those other CQB guns, like MP5s, Mac 11s, bigger magazine capacity, Great RPM on it. It's going to rip through the competition in CQB. Highly recommend you pick up this excellently made ICS AEG today from airsoftstation.com. I thank you very much for watching. Pick this thing up today.